this video will be uh, will be very helpful to almost any of you guys if you have a vehicle so that can occur to you stay with us we'll show you how to do that welcome to the channel and don't forget to check out our main channel world Road mechanics it's down there in the description it's growing crazy fast guys check it out we have amazing builds so we have that jetted TDI diesel and uh, don't ask what we did to it we did almost anything you can think of uh, but the car is in really good condition now it drives great the only problem is if you're going higher speed like 75 80 uh, and you hit the brakes you feel vibration in the steering wheel and the whole car starts shaking a little bit okay you just kind of like start feeling it and it, you can actually notice it at 65 but the higher the speed the more the vibrations when you apply the brake pedal so uh, stay with us we'll show you how to fix that now uh, you don't have to buy new parts for that so uh, don't forget to subscribe and stay with us now so we're going to go ahead and remove the tire now the wheel okay we got the, uh, the bolts loose and we we'll just go ahead and take them off now and uh, we'll show you what's causing that vibrations and it's, it's not a wheel, it's not a tire because it will do it all the time, not just when you're braking. Okay, so that's our problem right here guys. It's a disc roller. It, it's not even. You cannot see it with, the, uh, with your eyes, but that thing needs to be turned. So uh, what happens now? It's a little bit off and it starts vibrating crazy with the speed. So when you apply the brakes, you feel those vibrations in the steering wheel. So. Uh, all you have to do for that repair, usually remove the, the uh, caliper right here, okay? And once you remove the caliper, uh, there is usually a screw or two, this one is only one holding the disc, stay with us, we'll show how to do that. Most of the cars are about the same and you'll be able to remove it out of there. So first we'll need to compress the piston, the brake caliper piston there, so uh, we need to get between the brakes somehow there and uh, you can just pull with a, with a screwdriver a little bit careful not to hurt yourself they, they sell a special tool that you can use so that's pretty convenient okay we almost got it there you can see how much it compressed okay and now that's it you can see how much it's moving now so that way we can install it back on the, on the roller and uh, we we'll need to remove the inner bolts in our case because the those two just hold the, the uh, brake caliper they don't hold the mount and we need to remove it all the way with the mount okay this one there and those are usually super super tight and you need to get them tight as well uh, the ABS sensor will be in the way here so we need to just pull it out of the bracket and we need to do the same thing to the top one okay right there and all we have to do is get the bolts out of there now it's pretty easy to remove usually a roller we will, we will recommend doing a brake drop as well guys so you have to uh, find a specific video or instructions for uh, for your model and vehicle whatever it is uh, because it might differ a little bit Getting the second one out of there, you need to get a wire, big, heavy duty zip tie or something like that. And uh, you need to make sure that the roller is not hanging on the brake line because this is super dangerous. It's going to, it, it's very possible that it will damage the brake line, which could brake later and you are with no brakes. So that's no joke, just make sure it's, it's not hanging. Okay, like that, and we're gonna tie it for the uh, for the spring there, so it's up in the air and it's not in the way. Okay, just like that, you can see. All right, now that's the that's the disc. We're going to go ahead and turn the steering wheel straight now, so we can work better. So now we got we got everything out of here with. Uh, with a T30 now we can go ahead and remove that uh, that bolt there, little bolt. Some are some of them are with a screwdriver, so some of them are with Allen wrench. Really different kinds, and this one will be 
stuck really good guys I guarantee you that And if it's really stuck guys, or in, you can use it's a penetrating spray, some kind of PV blaster, WD-40. Uh, and if you spray where the roller and the hub contact, you usually let it soak for a little bit. And I guarantee you that it's gonna come out. Sometimes rust will make it all. And uh, if you have the car in neutral, you can... Start getting loose, never hit it hard, especially on the on the surface where it's breaking, never hit the roller. Never. Okay, right there. Because otherwise you're going to damage it. So you can see that's where it got pretty stuck. So we can clean that thing with the sandpaper. We're gonna go ahead, take this one to the parts store, uh, get it turned. It cost only 10 bucks. And uh, we'll, we'll come back in a little bit and we'll show you what it looks like and how it fixed our problem. Alright guys, we got it back from the parts store, that's what it looks like, you can see it's nice and smooth, they cut it, uh, it doesn't have that glossy shiny shiny look on top of it, because if, it, if it's really glossy on top, it, uh, uh, the, the brake pads will be vibrating, and uh, it's not good, so that's what it should look like after you get it back, and we're gonna go ahead, put it back together, just the way we took it apart in reverse order, we're gonna test drive it and we'll show you how it doesn't vibrate at all anymore. Okay guys, so uh, we drove the car, it feels amazing, it doesn't have it doesn't have any any vibrations at all. It feels like a brand new car. We went 80, 90 mile an hour, hit the brakes and it feels amazing. A little bit windy today, sorry if the quality of the video is not so good, but thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a like and hopefully the video was helpful.